Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm here with my sister. I'm not in the video because I'm just like, as always, every time I do a makeup, I'm just not presentable for the camera. Although I don't care, you can see me. You can see me, but I'm just in my PJs and everything. Oh, nasty. <laughs> Anyways, back onto the topic. Um, I've done my sister's makeup. I definitely like went all out and you know did something really colourful and bright. And I really wanted to improve like my skills on her face because I feel like when I look at previous tutorials I did on her, I didn't really like them. Like I felt like I could I could do better. So I really challenged myself. She's got like really small lid space, which is not a bad thing. Like she has kind of hooded eyes. So I really wanted to make them look a bit bigger. Um, and just you know try and make it look neater and stuff so I'm going to show you guys how I did that and I feel like the products that I used really helped me as well but I have no idea what I'm going to call this video honestly I hope you guys will enjoy this video of me glamming her up she has somewhere to go afterwards so okay we're going to do a post notification shout out my sister's going to do it it goes to Nelina D hey Nelina she, you know who you are like she's literally commenting on all my videos I appreciate your love so much. I actually love doing these post notification shout outs, but again, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell button if you want to get a notification shout out. And yeah, we're going to jump straight to it. So we're going to start off with the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer in Golden, and we're going to carve the bottom bit of the brow first. And I got this from M -M -M Mitchell from Instagram and when he did the makeup tutorial on Nikki Tutorials and he did this and this is just going to help me, um, he did it for a different reason but I felt like this was going to help me get a better shape from my sister's brows, which it did I think. Um, I used the Revolution Pro Brow Cushion Dark Brown to fill it, her brows in, kind of like shaded it in slightly and then I went in with the L'Oreal um, brow plumper in medium to dark. My nose is blocked and I got a sore throat so I probably sound really like groggy. I am so sorry. But anyways I went in with a flat brush again with the NYX concealer to carve the top bit of the brow. The brush that I'm using is from Vanity Planet from their brush set and I do have a discount code in the other box if you guys want to check the brush set out. I use a lot of brushes from that brush set. Um, then I'm going on to the P. Louise eye base and this stuff is like a gem to me and I really feel like this helped me get like a full, even though the shadows I used were really pigmented but I feel like this really helped me to get that full pigment, that, that real neatness and that nice blendability, like this stuff is amazing and it stays on all day. My sister came out back last night and it was still stuck to her lid, nothing budged. But anyways, I'm using the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and I'm using this first shade right here to kind of use as her transition. And we're blending this on the outer corner um, into the crease and the inner corner as well to create that halo eye effect. And I'm using very little pressure with the brush. And yeah, just keep packing on, keep blending. You can pack and then blend or just blend straight away, it's up to you. Um, I also went in with this bright orange shade, I think it's, this one's called Blazing and I used this very slightly to blend that first colour out like on the edges. Now we're going to use Oud, this is like one of my favourite colours from the palette, it's like this beautiful brown and I'm using this on the same areas that we used the first colour but I'm going a bit lower so we don't want to completely cover the first colour we use so go slightly lower underneath and just kind of softly transition it into the first two shades that we use and I use a clean brush to blend out the edges. So now I went back in with the P. Louise base to cut the centre of the halo eye and I'm just patting and creating a soft line. You can use any precise fat flat brush to do this um, and yeah just take your time with it. Like I said again this base is amazing to cut a crease to use as a base it's just so good. Now I'm going to use this shade right here, this is Angelic, another uh, favourite shade of mine from the palette and I'm just going to pack this onto the base just to kind of set it. And I'm using a flat, another flat brush to go really close to the cut crease that we did. And now I'm using the e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow in Molten Bronze I think, brushed bronze, brushed copper actually. <laughs> um, everything will be linked in the info box, you guys know that. And I'm using this to, you know, just add that, that more oomph to the centre, like this really made it shine. 
And to blend the center and the outer corners together, I use these two purple shades, Twilight and I don't know the other one, but I'll try and write the shades in the info box as well. Um, and I just use this to kind of blend the, the center bits, as you can see here, so it's not like too harsh of a transition. And I feel like this really added some nice pop of colour to the eye look without being too bright and too overwhelming. Like if you guys don't want a too much of a colourful look, this is a really nice technique to use to help blend two colours but and also make it like a bit colourful. I'm also using the NYX um, liquid eyeliner in matte black. This eyeliner is like one of the best ones I own. Um, you can use a brush. I did go on to using a brush afterwards. I used the... Um, Sigma E06 brush and it's super super precise and I just kind of did her liner with it so when you're doing an eyeliner on someone if I don't know if you guys are a makeup artist or not it's really nice to like get them to look straight so you know that when they look straight the eyeliner will look the same as well because when you do the liner when they're looking down once they look up it, like the liner completely changes so after that I took a makeup wipe and cleaned up the edges like so and now I'm going to go on to some mascara I used the worth the hype mascara by NYX this mascara is good but my sister realized that it kind of smudges throughout the day so she popped on some waterproof mascara on top later on after this so that it doesn't do that um, but it was the only mascara I had to hand um, but I also put, did put some lashes on these are the classy lashes lashes in diva and then once I glued those on, I did um, put some of the NYX liner on the lash band so it was all jet black. Now you can clean off any excess from the eyeshadow fallout if there is any. And then I'm going to go in with some Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream. <laughs> she was like, it's cold. She's such a weirdo with her face expressions. But yeah, I just used a brush to really like buff this into her skin. It's super hydrating and it really helps her skin because her skin is like really dry. And it also has primer in it, so it helps your makeup last all day long. Um, for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in... Uh, I forgot the shade, but I'll write it in the info box. Um, and then I used a Sink Sigma 3D Kabuki brush and just really blended that out. I try to keep all the foundation blending in the video because you guys seem to find it so satisfying like I do like when I watch other youtubers blend their foundation it's so satisfying it's like one of my favorite parts to look so I try to keep most of it in without making it too boring <laughs> complain about the customer service in your store and I have to be like my sister works there. What? I'm not even joking. Why would you say that? <laughs> and I was like was it a brown person? She's like no. <laughs> so now I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand and I'm using this under her eyes and the bridge of her nose, the forehead, around her mouth and I'm just gonna blend it out with a damp beauty blender. I'm actually running out of this stuff. It's like one of my favourite concealers, but it's just like the shade and everything is just perfect for me and the coverage. And this stuff like just stays on all day. So like I said, I've just blended it all out with the beauty blender. I know like I'm mixing up uh, voiceovers and you know real life talking, but I just we just was chatting and like I thought it was nice to share the weird stories that we were talking about. How's that work? I'll go to the changing room. You know how like the change rooms open if like the curtains open? It was a bit open and I looked at examine it, I didn't see anyone in it. She so was in a fashion clothes. I slammed it open and there's a 12 year old the girl chill. in the corner fingering herself. No, actually, when I think about that now, that's just so disgusting. This is a PG channel. And I got so scared, I got the curtain, I wrapped it back up and I went to the till and she ran away. She literally ran. 
Because I wear your parents. That is so bad. <laughs> you what? You wiped the curtains. I didn't. Mean, yeah, I just because I didn't see anyone there. I went like this, down and then I wiped everything. She was in the other corner. She was sitting on the bench. I never touched those benches ever again. Mm -hmm. Nasty. Her trousers were halfway down in her underwear and her pants. So what did she do when she saw you? She just looked really scared. That's why I felt bad and I just wiped the curtain back. I was like, oh sorry. And I just wiped the curtain back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do. What are you meant to do when you see that? Oh my god. That is just no. <laughs> no did you find pee once as well? Yeah, I don't know if that was dog pee. <laughs> oh, what kind of pee? There was a pad, a dirty pad once. Once there was this couple having sex in there. What the hell? Oh, quick, quick, quick. This is. Needs to do, this needs to happen before you start looking and doing the weird faces. I realised today that I talk to myself a lot. Oh my god, let me tell you guys another story about this girl. <laughs> my room is right next to my sister's room. Okay, I'm using the um, MAC Mineralize Skin Finishing Dark Deep. My room is right next to hers, and my sister gets like night screams. Like, she's always been like that since she was little. But I feel like lately it's just getting worse. Is it? Yeah, and you know, there's another YouTuber that gets it, you know? She she talked about she gets night screams. Mm. Obviously, I'm a bit weird. We I'm a bit weary of this girl because, you know, she's so tall, you know, you don't know what she can do in her sleep, technically. So I try to take caution when these things happen. <laughs> you see banging, you hear banging on the fucking radiator and then she goes, huh? <laughs> and she's screaming so loud. Oh my god. I got up, I put, I chucked my computer to the side. I get up and I prepare myself mentally before I open her door because I don't know what's going to come out, you know. I slam the door open, the door like bangs against her, she's still screaming and she runs towards me with her big eyes open like that and she's like, there's a spider and I'm just like, I push her to the side because she's running towards me, you know, when you have this five, six foot person running towards you, you know. I'm not six foot. She's blood tall. I'm trying to like protect myself, obviously. My brother was even scared. My brother, like, he's 20, he was scared to go and see what was going on. She goes into the next room across the hallway. That's where she actually wakes up, which is so scary. And she's like, going like... I was like... And I started shaking my legs. Yeah, she was like, there was a spider. And I was like, she literally screamed like someone was strangling her in her night, in her bed. Like, it I was had a so bad. Spider. I have a phobia of spiders. And it's always about a stupid spider. And there's no spider because I went and checked even. I'm pretty sure someone possesses me in my sleep. <laughs> yeah, but don't tell me that now. No, so I'm not going to save you. I need to go to church and I might ask the priest to like cleanse me. I might actually do that, you know. Yeah, the, the, she does weird stuff. I was shaking so bad. And guess what? This girl, yeah, the next day she's like sulking. And I thought like she's mad at me when like, she's I was the one that scared me. Work. Yeah, but then I was like, why? I, I ignored her for like a whole day and then she, I was like, why are you sulking for that? It's not even my fault. And then she's like, oh, no, I had a bad day at work. So I was just like, okay. Next time, just tell me before you start budding at me as if I was the reason you had a bad day at work. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Bronze Sands Edition. I'm going to use this one right here. So I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Me Money Hustler Baby Highlight. I'm going to use this one here. What that sound? It's so weird. Me? Yeah. What did you just do? She just tried to sniff my bra. No, I sniffed it out. Okay, <laughs> come here. <laughs> Look how pretty that highlight is. I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Under My Spell Lip Liner. Okay, so now guys I'm going to take this Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in... Uh, what is this? Muse. It's a super pretty lilac shade. You're such a weirdo! <laughs> Why did you open it so suddenly? Uh, it doesn't matter, I'm 
got another card of this person out. Go on. Yeah, go. Why are you looking at me? Why do you want me to look? You're just like staring at my face. <laughs> Okay, since she doesn't like it being too purple, I'm gonna put a really light nude. Just make sure it's a dose of colours, not on wood. Okay. Oh wait, I forgot time. something. What happened? Can do the lower lash line. I'm gonna take the purple shade that we've been using, the matte one from the Huda Beauty palette. Let's go. I'm gonna put it really close. So I just finished off with some mascara on her lower lashes and that's the end of this makeup tutorial guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more story times in makeup tutorials and yeah, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> you babble a lot. Hey, excuse me! I was like, come on, let's go. Okay, you need to stop now.